Yeah, let's go. I'm unstoppable, yeah. do the impossible. Right. I'm irresponsible, oh. yeah, I'm phenomenal. Yeah. I got an arsenal, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm dropping bombs, you know. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not stopping, no. Let's go. Conquer yeah. the obstacle. Yeah. To the top, here I go, think I'm chosen yeah. To be the king of rock, think the people have spoken I can hear the tick tock of the clock, I'm in motion So now I'm gonna pop, causing all this commotion Yeah, yeah. sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable Yeah, ready to go, man, lock and load That's right, I swear to God that I could drop you, bro It is the Withers Wrestling Network. Thank you for joining us today. We've got a great match on tap. As a quick shout out to the the uh, promotion that allowed us to bring our cameras out here. There's Independent Wrestling Entertainment. Uh, the uh, providers of this particular match. As you hear the theme music, some might recognize it. There it is right there. The Independent Wrestling Entertainment logo and Facebook. If you want to see them and all upcoming cards. And as I was starting to say, you may recognize some of the music for those of you long-time viewers here on the Women's Wrestling Network. The woman is the Black Widow, and she is being called out first. There she is right there in the uh, mid of the, of the screen. There's a close-up. Not, not very uh, fan uh, friendly. The fans don't seem to appreciate her coming out here. But let's let's call about her professionalism here, or, or at least a return to her professional career as a wrestler. She has uh, pretty much made herself a checklist in recent months since getting back into the ring. She has made the decision that she's going to get her wins through any means that she can possibly do it. And, the Black Widow, I've, I've called out before, has been one of the most accomplished wrestlers who took a hiatus. Some people can go again, you can look down through the channel, see her taking on the likes of uh, Casey Carlisle, Rock, Rock and Roll Roxy, Megan Moxley, and others. Jessica Wentworth. But she's back in business. But what a person she chose to get back in business against. It would be my pleasure to call this one Ruthless La La, first time seen on the Women's Brothers Network. Come on. Come on. This woman knows how to command a crowd and a microphone and a ring. She's just pretty much a complete package. I mean, I could, I could probably go through an entire show and just hear her talk. A lot making the rounds, going through the fans here in the, uh, the crowd. <laughs> Certainly enjoying it though. You got to get your fun in now because I don't think that the widow is uh, here for fun and games. But then again, by the same token, I do not think that once the bell rings, Ruthless Lala will be anything but business. Heard that right there respectfully though. You know, see that that is the line that is used most often. She can pretty much say whatever she wants as long as she has that on the end of it. I mean I'm not really sure if that's how that works, but that is what she does. Uh, we got it. We're kicking this off and I think it's a clear who the uh, favorite here, at least uh, in terms of popularity, is going to be, that is going to be Lala. There's a lock up, and I think both of these ladies are going to find, there we go, a, a break. I was going to say they're going to find themselves at a little bit of a disadvantage because normally they are bigger and stronger than their average opponent. That would not be the case here as uh, both the widow is, I don't know if you caught that, but the widow actually moved Lala's hand into her hair to give the referee something to see. But uh, as I was stating, 
Both of these leaders are generally larger, more powerful, stronger than their opponents. Don't think that's going to be the case here, though. And right there, you see that the Widow actually did use the hair as a point of leverage and drug Lala back into the corner. He's giving her a warning, but it's a little too little too late. Lala's shaking that off, not really that concerned about it. The Super Saiyan Savage God is... <laughs> Talking about strength, it like we're gonna test it right here. Full head of steam, and the widow could not move. La La, not just saying, "Well, you bring it." It's La La into the ropes. Widow takes it, but does not go down. And got some fans there saying, Ooh, they're, they're pretty impressed." Well, if I'm going in this time, La La takes the, the hit. I should say she takes the square. That's old reference for the kids out there. Drop toe hole. All right to the ropes. Oh my gosh. Low drop kick right to the side of the head. And she makes the Black Widow think about it. Goes out of the range. I guess now the Black Widow knows what she may be in for. Impact. Hard impact is what the name of the game is, and if you are the Black Widow, the one thing that you want to look out for is the advertised uh, power of whom? Make sure about the Widow. The advertised power, the, the, the lariat that the that Rufus Lala likes to use, and perhaps that might be why the Widow's going out to the legs right now. The referee's trying to get it to break. You saw the Widow's over there using the lower ropes as a point of leverage, not just kicking out the knee. That could, in turn, take away some of that additional power away from a lariat. It could potentially dislocate a knee or a joint doing that. Referee getting in there, making sure that no permanent damage is caused. I mean, we're looking to win a match. We're not looking to cripple somebody indefinitely, at least not officially speaking. She trams the knee into the uh, mat. With a roll through, just snaps that leg. Takes it down and twists it at the same time, using the body as the, the means to just drag it into the, into the mat. And now she's locking in another lock. Lala, at this stage, has been neutralized. Perhaps the Black Widow has done her homework and has studied just how good ruthless Lala is. I said, it's going to be very difficult. I know she'll be going up there yelling at the fans to to shut up, but it's going to be very difficult to perform a lariat. You can't move or stand on your legs. Oh! Strong right hand. The fans had every reason to be going. Big chop. Her legs may be hurting, but her arms still work. Snap mare. Widows down. Sensei bomb. Going for the cover. One, two. Black Widow is up and out at the two count. Come on, Susie Homemaker. Again with the Susie Homemaker. Widow taking a shortcut with her rickety eyes. Comes in with a stiff kick in the abdomen. Both of these ladies are very experienced competitors in the ring. They know what they're doing. They have had the time and tested under fire against many an opponent. Went into the terminal. Comes out across, hip attack, and rubs her face in it. I'm sure that that little extra that she put in there was not painful, but humiliating all the same. Grabs the ankles, pulls Lala out. Perhaps she's going for a cover. Yes, she is. Got the leg hook. Not taking her opponent lightly. She's making sure she hooks the leg, but it's not enough to keep the ruthless one down. And between the bells, she is indeed ruthless. Damn. Oh, she's going after the knees and the leg. The target is clear here. I don't know if it's worked thus far. 
drops a knee right on the kneecap. That could do it. It may be enough just to want to make you quit and anything else. And she dropped her knee pad down so she can get a little bit more oof on that knee drop. Referee's asking Lala if she wants to give it up. I don't think that she's going to do that. Lala has too much uh, integrity. Whether people have liked her or not, she is not a quitter. Going after the knees again. I think the, uh, the bullseye is clear. Now, whether she will be able to obtain a submission of any sort of headbutt right into the uh, upper sternum. Widow's on the ropes. Comes in. Lala kicks the leg out from underneath it still. Looking for the kick. Catches the second one. Going in for that quick cover. Both of these ladies know what it takes. Let me tell you, folks, this is every reason why I do love professional wrestling. Hard hitting. These women are certainly not holding anything back. And the crowd here knows it. Forearm shot. Tagging one. Third forearm shot. But not enough to stop Lala. She falls her in, catches it with a clothesline on the, on the ropes. As the widow's turn, she falls in with a forearm of her own. Both up looking to get some sort of momentum. A forearm shot now returned by Ruthless Lala. Back into the ropes and a European uppercut. Surprised by the widow. It's out. Both clothesline. Both of them were charged into the ropes and then both of them had the same idea following that. Double close lines. Both ladies go down. The crowd is excited, as am I. Lala's trying to find something to get herself back up to her feet. The widow's stern as well. Both ladies back up. Catches it. Forearm shot. Big shot by Lala. She is not holding back at all. Talk about being ruthless. Now this is as ruthless as it gets. Double chops right across the chest. Tell me that those things do not hurt. Into the turnbuckle. Rollins coming in. Full head of state. Charges the ring post. Black Widow gets out of the way. It's using the ropes. A three count. A stolen victory by the Black Widow as she obtains the three count. I think those chops made her think twice. Lala's, uh, looks like she's protesting the problem here. She said, hey, she, she, she got her, her feet on the ropes. She's standing there gloating about it. Oh, well, maybe, maybe not. She's not gloating any longer. You know, Ruthless Law Law wants to come in my ring. <laughs> I give it to her. She got me good, but I still walked out with the win, one, two, three, fair and square, fair and square. Black Widow don't cheat. <laughs> this was supposed to have been a tag match, but I'm kind of glad that it turned into a one-on-one -on -one with Lala because she wants to get inside the ring with the Widow. I mean, as you can tell, hard hitting, that's cool. I got her back though. <laughs> But she will be back, and I will, will win again, one, two, three, fair and square, because I am the Black Widow, and I will squash her like the bug that she is. All the time, all the time I keep hearing, what makes you so ruthless, Lala? What makes you so ruthless, Lala? Who is ruthless, Lala? 
If you look in the dictionary, the definition of ruthless is show no remorse, show no pity, do whatever it takes by any means necessary. At the end of the day, I don't care if I win, I don't care if I lose. I literally just care how much pain I can inflict on you from the time that bell rings until that bell ends because it fuels my soul. <laughs> it's a sacrifice to the God that I am. Tonight, Black Widow, I showed you exactly why I was just that goddamn ruthless. And what happened? You had to cheat to get over. Bravo. You want a cookie for it? Because you're not going to get it. But I'll tell you what you will get. What you will get is the lullaby. And everybody knows that when Ruthless Lala throws that lullaby, because I am Miss What That Larry do, it's night night. So don't get caught slipping, because I will see you soon. Because that's godlike, respectfully, though. See you soon.